Scene script. Welcome to Burns Hustles, where we turn side hustles into cash. Have you ever wondered how J. Paul Getty became one of the richest men in history? Today, we dive into the fascinating tale of this oil tycoon's rise to wealth, beginning with his early life. Born in the year of 1892, Getty was the son of a father who juggled two professions, insurance and petroleum. This early exposure to the world of business, particularly the petroleum sector, was instrumental in shaping Getty's future. His father's business pursuits sparked a curiosity in young Getty, a curiosity that would later fuel his own entrepreneurial spirit. It was this environment that nurtured his innate talent for spotting lucrative opportunities and his knack for turning a profit. As a young boy, Getty was privy to dinner table conversations revolving around oil wells, drilling, and the unpredictable dance of the market. His father's enterprises painted a vivid picture of the business world's risks and rewards, leaving a lasting impression on his young mind. These experiences played a crucial role in influencing Getty's perspective towards business and wealth creation. This early immersion didn't just provide Getty with a theoretical understanding of the business world, it also armed him with the practical skills needed to navigate it. With a keen eye for opportunities and an unquenchable thirst for success, Getty ventured into the Oklahoma oil fields at the tender age of 24. This was a bold move indeed, given the speculative nature of the oil industry at the time. However, fortune favors the brave. Getty's speculative gamble paid off and he made his first million. Little did he know then, this was just the beginning of an incredible journey that would see him amass a fortune, making him one of the wealthiest individuals in human history. At a young age, Getty had already displayed a knack for business, but his journey was just beginning. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the life of J. Paul Getty, uncovering the steps he took in his rise to wealth. How did a young millionaire become one of the wealthiest men in history? This question brings us to the crux of J. Paul Getty's rise to wealth. It's a tale of audacious business moves, strategic acquisitions, and a knack for seizing opportunity when others saw only risk. In the early days of his career, Getty showed a penchant for bold decisions. None was bolder than his choice to invest heavily in oil production in the Middle East. At a time when the region was largely overlooked by the oil industry, Getty saw potential. He believed in the untapped wealth that lay beneath the desert sands. This was a gamble that paid off handsomely, propelling him into the realm of the super-rich. But Getty's boldness didn't stop there. He had a knack for identifying undervalued assets and making them his own. A key example of this was his acquisition of Pacific Western Oil Corporation. This was a company with significant assets, but it was undervalued by the market. Getty saw the opportunity and seized it, adding Pacific Western's assets to his already substantial portfolio. This acquisition paved the way for the formation of Getty Oil Company, a behemoth in the oil industry. This company would become the cornerstone of Getty's wealth, a testament to his strategic acumen and his ability to identify and seize opportunities. But perhaps the most defining characteristic of Getty's rise to wealth was his strategy of buying when others were selling and holding on to assets. While others were panicking and selling off their assets, Getty was buying. He understood the cyclical nature of business and knew that the value of his assets would rise again. This approach allowed him to amass a vast fortune and cement his place as one of the wealthiest men in history. Getty's wealth didn't come by chance, it was the product of calculated risks and strategic moves. His story is a testament to the power of audacity, strategy and a keen understanding of the market. What were the principles that guided Getty to amass his fortune? As we delve into the philosophy of wealth creation that J. Paul Getty embraced, three key principles stand out. Frugality, reinvestment and patience. Getty was a firm believer in frugality. He understood that wealth is not just about how much money you make, but also about how much you keep. Therefore, he was known for his cost-cutting measures, often avoiding unnecessary expenses. He once said, buy when everyone else is selling and hold until everyone else is buying. That's not just a catchy slogan, it's the very essence of successful investing. Reinvestment was another cornerstone of Getty's philosophy. He believed in the power of compound interest and the importance of reinvesting profits back into the business. Rather than splurging on luxury, he would reinvest his earnings to expand his business empire. This approach allowed him to multiply his wealth manifold over time. Patience, Getty believed, was the key to long-term wealth creation. 
he understood that wealth building is a marathon, not a sprint. Therefore, he was not swayed by short-term market fluctuations or get-rich-quick schemes. Instead, he focused on long-term investments that would yield substantial returns over time. Getty's philosophy also revolved around self-reliance, hard work, and persistence. He believed that anyone could achieve success if they were willing to put in the work and stay the course, regardless of the obstacles they encountered. He famously said, The meek shall inherit the earth, but not its mineral rights. This quote reflects his belief that the world rewards those who are bold, assertive, and willing to seize opportunities. In essence, Getty's philosophy wasn't just about making money, it was about building a sustainable business that could weather any storm. He believed in the importance of sound financial management, the power of reinvestment, and the virtue of patience. His philosophy underscores the fact that wealth creation is not just about earning money, but also about how you manage, invest, and preserve it. Getty's philosophy wasn't just about making money, it was about building a sustainable business that could weather any storm. What did Getty leave behind? Let's delve into the legacy of J. Paul Getty, one that extends far beyond his personal wealth. Getty's most significant contribution to society wasn't simply his amassed fortune, but the ways he chose to distribute it. He was a fervent believer in the power of art and culture, and his passion led him to establish the J. Paul Getty Trust. This organization, with its endowment of over $6 billion, stands today as the world's wealthiest art institution. It's a testament to Getty's dedication to preserving and promoting the arts for future generations. The Trust funds the Getty Museum, the Getty Conservation Institute, the Getty Research Institute, and the Getty Foundation, all of which are dedicated to making the world's artistic heritage universally accessible. From ancient Greek sculptures to 19th century French paintings, the Getty Museum houses an impressive collection, a significant portion of which was donated by Getty himself. His philanthropy has ensured that millions of people can appreciate the beauty and history of art from all eras and regions, but his influence doesn't stop at the museum doors. Getty's wealth creation strategies have left an indelible mark on the entrepreneurial landscape. His principles of calculated risk-taking relentless pursuit of opportunity and unwavering belief in self have inspired countless entrepreneurs. His philosophy of wealth creation has been studied, emulated and adapted by business leaders across the globe. Getty's journey from a small-time oil driller to one of the richest men in history offers a roadmap for those with the audacity to dream big. From his philanthropy in the arts to his impact on the world of business, Getty's legacy is multifaceted and enduring. He championed the idea that wealth should not only be accumulated, but also used to enrich society. His life and work continue to influence and inspire, proving that the true value of wealth lies not in what it can buy, but in the good it can do. Getty's legacy isn't just in his wealth, but in the impact he has had on the world of business and beyond. What can we learn from Getty's journey to wealth? Indeed, J. Paul Getty's wealth creation story is a masterclass in strategic thinking and financial discipline. His journey to becoming the richest man of his time is peppered with lessons that resonate even today, irrespective of the industry or the scale of business. As we delve into his strategies, we see a pattern of calculated risks, frugality, reinvestment, patience, self-reliance, hard work, and persistence. Let's start with calculated risks. Getty knew that fortune favors the brave, but he also understood that bravery without calculation is a recipe for disaster. He took chances, yes, but they were always informed decisions, backed by thorough research and understanding of the market. For today's entrepreneurs, this underscores the importance of due diligence before making any significant business decisions. Next, we have frugality. Despite his immense wealth, Getty was known for his penny-pinching ways. He believed in the principle of spending less than what one earns, this mindset, while seemingly simplistic, is a powerful tool for wealth creation. In today's context, it serves as a reminder to manage finances wisely and avoid unnecessary extravagance. Reinvestment is another crucial aspect of Getty's wealth creation strategy. He was known for reinvesting his profits back into his businesses, thereby fueling their growth. This principle can be a game changer for modern day entrepreneurs, encouraging them to prioritize business growth over immediate personal gain. Patience, self-reliance, hard work and persistence 
were the cornerstones of Getty's philosophy. He worked tirelessly, trusted his instincts, and remained patient, knowing that true wealth creation is a slow process. These qualities are timeless and can guide anyone on their journey to financial success. As we see, the journey to wealth isn't about quick riches, it's about strategic thinking, patience and a lot of hard work. Just like J. Paul Getty, the richest man of his time, 